when I started over at Hippo, um, the first thing that they introduced me to was the voice system. Um, and it's obviously used very much in a blended way of having face-to-face -face training with staff members. Now, there is the voice um, academy that you can go through, the village that you can use, um, but because of my role jumping straight into the coaching, um, I'll be honest, I used a lot of the staff that have already in Hippo for it, for the likes of compliance. So they showed me some of the key features which I will use on a day-to-day, -day. so how to get into the calls, how to look at the transcripts, and then how to use the, um, the reporting systems and things like that. So in my role with the coaching, um, there's a lot of times where we're doing either group sessions where we want to listen to customers' phone calls, listen to how the account managers have handled a call, objections and things like that. And now the great thing with the voice system is we're able to, rather than me spending hours looking for phone calls and listening to 40 minute phone calls to see whether or not it's one I want to use for coaching, I can use the voice system, have a look through the transcripts, have a look at the key features where you can see how much dead air there's been, so how long of pauses there've been. You can have a look to see what the scoring is on the compliance side, and you know whether or not it's a very, very good call to use for coaching. I would spend probably half a day to a full day listening to phone calls, just to highlight maybe two or three calls I wanna use in my training sessions, which has then meant I can probably do four or five coaching sessions in a day, rather than four or five in a week, which has really sped up the process, not only for me, but it's also sped the process up for my staff as well. So my account managers that I'm training, they're getting instant feedback and instant training, and we're getting a lot more sessions done, which means they're getting on the phones a lot quicker and improving the customer's journey a lot sooner as well. So the sessions that I do, when I show them the key areas, and especially the visual of the dead air, that's probably one of my favorite features on it. They didn't realize originally the impact. They're sat there thinking during that time when someone's on hold, they're busy doing other things. They don't realise that when you physically see it, it's actually quite a lot of time. If you think in a 15 minute phone call, you've got four minutes of dead air throughout it. Having that look and seeing that has come as a shock for quite a few of them. And it's now put it on their radar to make sure that they're going back and touching base on a regular basis with the customers. I would honestly say looking at voice and the way I've been using it, I think my coaching methods and my coaching sessions have really improved. We're getting much more smart objectives off the back of them because I can highlight the sentences they're using or highlight where they're not saying the right things or where it's not going well. Whereas originally having to listen to a call, if we listen to a 40 minute call and then spend 20 minutes talking about it, you forget most of the call. Whereas with this, I can, when I'm talking about a certain area, I can pull up on the transcript and they can see it, which means we can really focus and really get down into the finer detail of what's been said, how it could come across and how it could feel. And I think that's bit really has improved my coaching methods and my coaching sessions. So in relation to recommended advice, I would definitely recommend it within the coaching sessions and obviously within the coaching area. I think having the blended approach is really gonna help drive the performance of your team and performance of your coaching sessions. And you're gonna get a lot more out of it than having to use other systems that I've used in the past.